has played in Vegas, Chicago, New York, and you're going to see him in the new movie, uh, The Five Year Engagement. So let's give a round of applause for Mr. Ron Rigby. Oh, I haven't even said anything yet. But before I say anything, I have to apologize because Martin is a nice guy that he is. He called me up last week. He said, Ron, we should work on like an intro for you. And I said, all right, what would you like to do? He says, well, why don't you tell me some of the places you've played? So when you ask me where I've played, I immediately think golf. So I'm like, I don't know, fucking Vegas I've played in, or Chicago, San Francisco, or Half Moon Bay, that was a great golf course. And I think you guys might have thought that that's where I'd perform. Um, and then he mentioned the movie, The Five Year Engagement, which I was, I did film a little bit of that last week, but uh, I didn't tell him there was like a, a hundred other extras. <laughs> but I will be in that movie, so there's a, there's a scene they call the rehearsal dinner scene, and I'll go over it really quick with you because it wasn't real long, but um, oh, someone left the recorder up here. But when the rehearsal dinner comes up, I'll be sitting like this, just like this. And the stars will be right over there. And then you'll hear, you know, stars say stuff. And I like laugh a little bit. And that's it. So look for me in there. I think it comes out in August. I'm glad everybody made it here tonight. The traffic was bad. The traffic lights are bad. What? Does anyone know what happened to the traffic lights? It's like a fucking laser light show now when you go up to a traffic light. There's a light by my work that had two, two lights, a red, a yellow, and a green, for the longest time. And the other day I was sitting there and there was 14 lights. There's, there's, there's five lights to turn right now. A, one on the top, two in the middle, and two on the bottom. And then there's four lights to turn left. And I just use the honk method. Which is basically when someone honks, I go. Because I don't, I don't, know, what, I don't know what to do. There's yellow arrows and red arrows. And, and I just wait and somebody will fucking blow their horn. And I'll go. And then who invented the fucking roundabout? I'm thinking it's like an Australian guy or something. Because everything is about them. About. My wife was a pretty good driver, you know, for a woman. I throw the tomatoes. But she literally like like peas or pants when we pull up to one of those things. I'm like, honey, what's wrong? He's like, I don't know what to fucking do with one of these things. I said, you just, I guess you just drive up to them. And, but there's cars coming from that. I'm like, they're all gonna turn, don't worry. You know? And she goes around it and she's like, now what? I just go, go, we're going straight, just go. I fucking hate these. I guess they're not bad if you, if you live by one and you're like, you know, no problem. But she calls them the circles of death. <laughs> if we have to go somewhere, she like gets on MapQuest and looks for them. And if there are any in the area, she'll we'll, we'll go like an hour out of the way. 